A budget is a detailed report on the total sources of income and sectors of expenses. For college students, it's imperative to understand the portion of incomes and expenses, which can be done through a college budget. As a summary, they can get the possible amount for savings. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. We will learn how to make a college budget in Excel. It will cover four sections. First, a monthly income college budget, then for monthly expense, for semester expense, and finally, a summary report. We will do it using Excel 365. You can use other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. For creating a college budget based on monthly income, here is a title in B2 to C2 written college budget monthly income. In B4, let's type source as in source of income and in C4 type amount, which is the amount received against sources. In B9, let's type total to add all the income amounts now select b4 to c9 go to home tab under the font group go to borders drop down and select all borders select b4 to c4 from the font group select fill color to be this one and increase their font size from the alignment group let's make them center and middle aligned now select b9 and c9 as well and make them bold you can add your sources and amount manually here or you can copy that from a draft using ctrl c and ctrl v like we just did now select column c and from the home tab under the number group choose this one to go on accounting number format now in c9 we will calculate the total amount so let's type equals sum tab and select all of them enter and we can see that the total monthly income is two thousand two fifty dollars for visual analysis select c5 to c8 go to home tab under the styles group go to conditional formatting and choose data bars and from the gradient fill choose green color and we can see the highest amount is labeled as the highest data bar and the lowest amount as the smallest. So here we get our monthly income. In the same way, we have generated our monthly expense worksheet for adding the values in cell C13. Let's use some function as well. Tap and let's select C5 to C12 as in our total monthly expense. Enter. So our total monthly expense is $825. Let's add some data bars for visual analysis. Select C5 to C12. From the home tab under styles group, select conditional formatting drop down and select data bars and let's go along with red color. And we can see the highest expense is in house rent and the lowest expense is in phone bill. Easy, right? As you can see, we have created our semester expense college budget in the same way as well. Let's calculate the total amount with some function as well. Tap and select C5 to C8. For visual representation, select C5 to C8 from the home tab under styles group. Go to conditional formatting then data bar and let's select pink color this time. And we can see the highest expense is in tuition fee. And the lowest expense is in buying book. Now, to create the summary of all the income and expenses and savings, we will mention the values here. In B4, type semester duration. In months. In B5, type semester expense, which we will get from the semester expense worksheet. In B7, Type monthly income, which will come from our monthly income worksheet. 
and in B9 type monthly cost, in B10 monthly expenses that we calculated previously and in B11 semester expenses per month. Since we calculated our semester expense for one whole semester. In B12, let's type total. And finally, in B14, let's type available for savings. Let's select B4 to C5, press the control key and select B7 to C7, B9 to C12, B14 to C14. And from the home tab under the font group, select all borders. Now select B9 to C9 and from the home tab under the alignment group, select merge and center. Now B4 to B5, click control and select B7, B9. And finally B14, go to home tab under the alignment group, make them center and middle aligned. From the font group, increase their font size and let's choose fill color to blue. Now let's press on control and select B12 to C12 and C14 and from the font group, make them bold. Now let's type 6 in C4 since our semester duration is 6 months. In C5, let's type equals. Now let's go to semester expense worksheet and click on C9 which is our total semester expense. Enter. So this is our semester expense and for monthly income type equal and go to monthly income worksheet. Select the total value which is in C9. Enter. Now in C10 enter go to monthly expense and select C13. Enter. Now semester expense per month. So we can easily get that using a formula whereas semester expense will be divided by semester duration. Enter. So our total value is sum tap. So this is our total monthly cost. So we can just subtract our monthly cost from our monthly income that will get us the available amount for savings. So equals income which is C7 minus cost which is C12. Enter. So, $374.17 is the available amount for savings. Using these elaborate steps, you can make a college budget as well. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.